Hello folks, how you doing? It's Des Catties. Uh, come out to the woods for a weekend out uh, with Dave Fryers, my mate Mick and uh, Tim's coming out at some point over the weekend as well so there'll be a few of us here. Um, going to be doing loads of video in plus um, I've got some links of hazel and that I'm going to sort of have a go at sort of like my primitive hand at making a few bits I'm going to try and make myself a little quickie bow um, maybe an arrow uh, I've got some flint and stuff like that so I'm just going to muck around with um, with a few bits like that plus some other videos that I'm going to have just to sort of stock up um, on the channel alright so stay tuned for uh, uh, hopefully uh, an entertaining and and, uh, educational uh, uh, episode all right so catch up with you over the weekend pack old trusty faithful helicon tech swag man I've also got my snug pack liner as well my fleece liner but I'm not sure I'm gonna put that in yet depending on how cold it is and then finally me uh, me good old sleepy mat Anyway, I'll find. So I'll clean now. And then in that 
bag obviously, as I say, is my hat, my spare socks, and my pillow. This is the Seat to Summit pillow. It's a large one. What model it is, I'm not sure. in a rug, I suppose. Right, so there's the setup then. Got a sort of like a, just like an A-framey sort of plough point, I suppose, with a Dutch hoop bivvy set up in there as well, so I should be nice and snug and bug, and there's me, uh, the old caramel sack down there.
So for tonight's dinner, I've got burgers. But these burgers are scarily spicy. Four Carolina Reaper quarter pounders. And they've got one, two, three, four, five chilies on it. And they've Good even, luck here, mate. They've, <laughs> and they've got a warning. So they say that beef quarter pounder with with uh, fiery Carolina Reaper chilies, very hot. So yeah, I think my bum's going to be stinging in the morning. So yeah, we've uh, got a bit of cooking going on. Burgers, Dave's got turkey, chicken. Turkey. That was turkey, some asparagus. That's right folks, these are the burgers, they're cooked. Now, I've been licking my fingers, or licking the spatula, and I kid you not, my tongue and throat is on fire. So, I'm now gonna eat these burgers with cheese and ketchup um, and I'll report back to you shortly about how I'm feeling I mean I could do the, the action with the camera Right, so uh, here we go then so I've got a nice little cheeseburger on the go now On some. Mate, that is hot. Your face is getting red already. Is it? Your cheeks, yeah. That's gonna shot me low. Mm. Very nice, yeah. I think it's levelling out. I mean, yeah, they can't be too hot. Can no, they? you're gonna get that initial shock, aren't you, of heat, but then yeah. you'll get used to it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not like, you know, I can, I can eat sort of stuff like yeah. this. All right, well, then let me. Once you get to the end of that burger, we'll see how you feel after that. Yeah, you know what I mean? all right then. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> if you're like two pints down after having that burger, you know it's quite hot. Des, Des, so how, how's the burger then? The first one was all right. <laughs> but this one's, it's like, it's a bit, it's tickling now, you know what I mean? It really is. That seems like about 200 miles away at the moment. That's four burgers though, mate. You've done well. 20 mile run tomorrow. Sunday. <laughs> yeah. That, that, you, you, you did feel it, didn't you? You, have, you can feel it. Oh, it is. <laughs>
Me, uh, <laughs> me very gnarly wiki bow. Um, I used a bit of seasoned hazel. I had to bring this wood in because there's no hazel here in this woodland. And unfortunately, when I was starting to obviously tailor it up a little bit, it's starting to split here. It's probably not too bad, but it looks like the cracks going a little bit further through. So I've literally just put a bit of um, a bit of uh, uh, cold on it. And um, yeah, I'm just a bit wary of. Uh, I'm obviously pulling it too far. Um, I'm not. Don't think I'm going to bother making the arrow uh, for now. Um, but I mean, I've only made two now, and I must say that you know each time you make one. I mean, I'm, I'm no bow expert, that's for sure. But um, you know, each time I do one, I'm learning something all the time, which is all what it's all about, really. So uh, got to get out and give it a go. Um, so you know, a little bit. It's a little bit twisted as well. A bit like me, I suppose. But. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit sceptical about actually pulling it and worrying about it snapping up there. Who knows? Right, for the start noon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up a stalk. This is uh, me mate Tim's, Ember Bushcraft on Instagram. Um, and I want a fork basically just to, for, for work really. I've got a little spoon that I carry, but I quite recently wanted to do a fork. So I'm just going to sort of kind of use Tim's, because I've never carved a fork before, so I'm just going to use that as a kind of a template. I like his one, it's quite elegant, I suppose, as forks can be. So I've got a piece of, uh, this is uh, alder. So I'm going to use that to, uh, to carve my little fork. started.
Oh, you bugger. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Let's have a look. Oh. Right, when I split it, okay, it's literally the, the split followed through, but we might be able to rescue it. I hope we can. Walker. Hopefully we can needs a little bit more of a rub down and I'm uh, going to take the forks down a little bit more Tonight's dinner, I've got barbecue Cajun chicken, breast kebabs, which I'm going to take them off the skewers. And I've got some chorizo left, and uh, I'm going to fry all that in the pan. And then I've got some wraps to have them as a like a fajita type thing. So it should be nice and tasty. I haven't had a poo today either, so um, I'm imagining burgers are still sitting there in my, uh, my old battles. Yeah. If you're interested to know what this little knife is, it's, uh, it's a buck knife and uh, it's a nice little folder. Nice little clip on it, and I normally and it's got a belt clip on it as well, and I just like using it for for, uh, for prepping my food and that. Really nice and sharp, stainless steel. Can wash it in a bowl of water and uh, just keep it in my jacket what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to leave them on the skewers the ones that have got meat on them no I'm not I'm going to just plonk them off might as well just get them all off do it that way less hassle just cook the meat all the meat together it's lovely mate isn't it Juicy. No, that should be nice. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, obviously, that's not something that I've made myself. It's just something I've, my wife shop bought. But, uh, be nice in the old fajitas, that's for sure. In the old wraps. Yeah, after me. Right, you know what I mean? I've, I've got these wraps, right? And there's eight in now. And, and they don't belong to me anyway, they're mixed, right? So I'm going to have. You can't have any, Dave. What? The wraps? Wraps. No. How many wraps do you need, mate? I only want two. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. How many wraps do you need, mate? Seven. Oh, seven. seven. Oh, seven. It's that old chestnut, is it? So I oh, can't really oh, have goodness. fucking two. I can only have one. Is that what it's all about, Nick? Is it? It's all about me mate, and you. Mate, you mate. You and Dave cut me in half. We, we, can have, we can have half of one each. Yeah. See what I have to put up with. <laughs> eh? Excuse me, don't put your pan on there while I'm doing it. <laughs> no. 
we can lower that down if you want. We can lower it down, it's not set up that high. Dave, oh, Dave, shut up. Yeah, I would. Well, can you please be quiet? Kind of give me some bit of green stuff, a bit of salad. Bit of roughage. Now trying to negotiate the frying pan with the meat. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, if only you could smell this at home. Please, people, don't take offence. What happened? Did anything happen after that? I mean, like the next day or anything like that? No, just said. Getting ready for bed now. Um, the old UK has been bombarded with a lot of wind and rain this afternoon. Um, so usual old thing really, you know. <laughs> Camping out in the rain as usual. Didn't have a bad weather sort of last night. It was really calm last night, but as I say tonight you can hear it pattering off the tarp. So uh I'm getting the head down. So uh, don't forget if you live in the UK the clocks go back tonight. So you get an extra hour in bed. <laughs> yeah. See you later folks, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Boys all packing up now, getting ready to sort of uh, just chilling out now before we go home. Great weekend. 
apart from the old uh, wet stuff again but it weren't too bad otherwise Friday was all right Friday night was actually quite mild and chilled and everything else and then sort of Saturday night was obviously a bit wet but that wouldn't be any different here in the UK would it so uh thanks for a great weekend fellas no worries, it's it's fun, right. isn't it? yeah great so uh Again, thanks for watching, folks. I was hopefully going to be doing a bit of flint napping and such like, but obviously you'll see in the video that I didn't. Um, obviously, cooking going on. I did start making a bow out of hazel. The hazel was quite seasoned, but then when I started just tillering the bow, um, it was only a quickie bow anyway, but when I started tillering it, it started to uh, split on one side, which um, it was quite weak, you know what I mean? So, you know, obviously that went by the boy, but you, know, you always learn from that. Um, so other than that, thanks for watching folks, don't forget to check out the description and uh, take care and I'll see you on the next video.